we're going to be going over three keys to credit. The first one is going to be late payments. Second one is going to be utilization on cards. Third is going to be open lines of credit, credit increases, or closed accounts. When it comes to late payments, this is huge because it not only impacts your scoring, um, but it also shows us, the lender, how responsible you are. Um, so, like I said, it's not only important to make your payments on time, um, just so that way you can, you know, have your scores at the maximum potential, um, but we have a history of every single late that has happened. Um, so whenever your scores pull through, uh, it'll actually have the trade line and it'll tell us been late five times and it'll actually rate it between 30, 60 and 90 days late, which they all also have a scoring system based off of whatever, however long you've been late on it. Um, so I would definitely try to avoid any late payments because the underwriter could also ask um, if they see a trade line that you've been late multiple times, what happened here? Um, and then we have to have a conversation of what happened. And um, if the conversation goes towards, oh, well, we um, decided to go on vacation and we didn't have the money to pay for it. So we decided to have fun on vacation and then come back to our bills later on. That's not a very good situation, right? That doesn't show us responsibility. Um, so if your situation is like, you know what, Ashley, I thought I had it on auto draft and somehow the computer got messed up um, and I received uh, a piece of mail from that credit line um, in the mail and they informed me. And yes, I do know that it was within those five months um, that I, it does show that I was late, but I had no idea during that time. Um, okay, great. So what have you done to fix that? Well, I actually called them, I got on the phone with them and we set up the auto draft um, and I made sure that they confirmed that it was definitely an auto draft um, and I am taking steps moving forward to make sure that those payments go through. Awesome. That's all I wanna know is that you have taken the steps to make your payments on time um, because it definitely does not look good to us or the underwriter if I have a credit report that's pulled and I have a bunch of lates on a multiple different accounts um, because it does not show us that you know how to manage your money, which makes us nervous about lending a mortgage to you, knowing that you're already struggling making the payments that you're responsible for now. Debt utilization. I have had in the past where I have a client that makes bucos of money, right? Uh, I pull their credit but all of their credit cards are maxed out because um, they use those cards in order to pay their bills, which is fine, that's understandable. A lot of people do. Um, but if you're using those to pay your bills or whatever during the month and then your plan is to pay them off at the end of the month, great. But you also need to pay attention to when we, the lender, are going to um, pull your credit. So once you apply and we pull your credit, we need to have that conversation about if you do have any open lines of credit and if they, they are maxed out and if your plan is to pay them off um, because there's a certain timeline for everything. Um, and that utilization, not only one, does impact your scores whenever we pull it. Um, and two, though, it shows us, the mortgage lender, the underwriters, that ee, this guy has A, B, C, and D and they're all pretty much maxed out doesn't really look good, right? So say if you paid off a card um, at the end of the month and you wanted to apply right then and there, well, it's probably not gonna reflect within that time frame, two weeks or a week, um, that we pull your score. It's still going to show that you still have it maxed out or whatever amount. Um, they typically report towards the beginning of the month. So the first and second week of the month is whenever they report so I would definitely just have that conversation with your loan officer to make sure that um, you have allowed enough proper time for it to report naturally on your credit report that those items are paid off or paid down. So that way you can one, um, show that they are not maxed out, but two, get the most points out of your credit score by paying those off or paying them down. Number three, uh, lines of credit and credit increases and closed accounts. 
If I was going to be purchasing within the next six months, I would not allow anybody to pull my credit during this time um, or open any new trade lines. Um, I do have customers say, oh, well, isn't that a good thing that I opened up a new uh, trade line so that way I can show history? Yes, but sometimes six months is not enough. Um, so if you are trying to work on your credit and you do know that um, your credit is low or you're trying to build that credit, try to start ASAP with that. Um, if you are within a six month time frame of purchasing a house, I would not recommend opening up any new trade lines um, if you know your credit is probably um, within good standing. Number two, I would not close any accounts because once you close those accounts, it deletes all the history um, that you've been getting credit for on your credit report. So if you're within that time frame again, like I said, do not close out those accounts, leave them open, um, especially if they are a old card that you've never been late on, it has really good history. It's just racking up points for you. Um, being open because it is counting in that history that you have done in the past um, onto your scores. Increase in lines of credit. Um, I would not recommend this, again, if you are in that time frame. The reason being is because they will pull your credit, uh, your credit scores um, in order to increase that limit for you. So this is just adding inquiries onto your credit report, which could affect your scores. Um, so what I would suggest is freeze your accounts, freeze all of the accounts with all of the bureaus, um, because it will make you kind of second guess, man, do I really want to take 10, 10 minutes out of my day um, to unfreeze these so that way I can get a credit increase, or if you're at Target or wherever that they offer those credit cards, sign up now, save 20% off or whatever. Um, it will just kind of hold you more accountable for that and actually signing up. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend freezing your accounts because um, banks or whoever, credit lines cannot pull your credit um, to offer more increases to you. Um, so that'll definitely save you some inquiries too on your credit report. So just remember those three things, those three keys. Um, whenever you are trying to um, monitor your credit, um, I definitely would recommend myfico.com. Um, it is basically a website that you can go on or a mobile app that you can go on, um, pay like a monthly subscription, or you can pull like a one-time credit report with all three bureaus. The thing I like most about this um, scoring system is that it is pretty accurate when it comes to mortgage scoring. So it's not like Credit Karma or any of your other credit card apps um, out there. I know that there is a huge difference and there's so many different algorithms out there for credit scoring, but we have found that myfico.com is most accurate whenever it comes to mortgage scoring. Um, I have some clients in the past or even current clients right now saying that, oh, my credit card app is showing you know, this, um, and then the MyFICO is showing this, and it's, you know, almost like 150 point difference between the two. So there's, just be aware that there are a lot of different algorithms out there. So whenever you do go to a lender, do not be surprised if your credit scores are different than what you expected if you were looking on Karma or credit card apps or things like that. Um, but like I said, the good thing is, my FICO is available to you guys. Um, I believe they also too will make suggestions on things that you can do to increase your scores. Um, so that would be a really good also resource for you if you are thinking of buying um, within six months. So that way you can go ahead and monitor your scores there. As always, I am licensed here in Texas. So if you have any mortgage questions or needs, please feel free to reach out to me. I am super happy and pumped to help you and so is my team.